All right. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. And today is the second video for this season in the garage. Actually, no, technically third, but you're seeing this second. Um, but anyway, today's video is going to be unwinterizing this Kenmore here. Last weekend we did those two. Uh, this weekend is this turn. We'll get to this one when I get to it. I'm not sure. Um, oh, and there's, there's no washer here anymore because uh, I had to get back to the lines back here because I keep all of the hoses and stuff back here and I disconnected them for the winter so they wouldn't break. Uh, yeah, so basically, you know, just to get back there, you know, I sold the Maytag. Just kidding, it's right there. Um, anyway, back here, grab the plug that has decided it would rather fall to oblivion. Oh, there's a, there's a little bug. That's okay. Oh, there's multiple little bugs. They like these. Get out of here. There you go. Hang on. Let me, let me take care of some something real quick. Grab a couple. These paper towels. Dead. Or almost dead. 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 Uh, no, dead. Trash can. One more. Where did it go? Did it go in? Oh, it's right there. I see you. Hang on. This has turned into an extermination video, apparently. Oh, it's gone. I don't know where it went, but it's gone now. So, I'm not going to worry about that one. Probably down there. Anyway, if there's anything living in here, it's not going to last very much longer. But, turn the heater off. This video is a little bit, uh, you know, out of order. Because this is the first time I'm doing this. But, push the timer in. Plug in. Nothing's blown up yet, so we're off to a good start. Water's on, and it's not leaking. We're gonna go extra high. Warm, warm. And we're running the, uh, about a 10 minute, uh, colors, cotton sturdy cycle. So here we go. If it doesn't leak. We're off to a good start. Taking water. There's nothing coming out on the floor yet. Check around here. Anything? Looking good back here. And we're looking good at the hose connections. Right there. So, let's make sure that both valves are working. Warm. Cold. Yep, cold working. Hot working. Still disengaged, as you can see. So, it has not run this cycle since being winterized. Definitely smells like uh, water in there, you know. Because it is. See, a lot of them smelling. Last weekend, we unwinterized this machine, the A4 Weight S. As well as this, uh, the 89 A482. And this weekend I'm gonna also try and get to the catalyst. Because, uh, I have time. I just don't know if I'm gonna do it in this video or not. Because I have only so much storage space and I only have so much time. And obviously I can't do it in one video. But it would take like 40 minutes. That should be an 80 minute video. As well as last weekend, is a little surprise. You'll be seeing the video soon. Put the meat tag over here. I got it uh, tested, and it seems to be working okay. That's just lint. Haven't had any problems with it yet. Put new hoses on it, cleaned it up a little bit better. Uh, it's just chilling over here because I needed to get to the lines. I may also try and test this one a little bit this weekend, because I don't, I don't know if I have time, because today is Sunday, uh, May 14th, so today is Mother's Day. Kind of tells you the timeline of when things have been happening for me. It's probably going to be a little more talking in this video than usual, and I apologize for that, but 
I'll try and keep it to a minimum, at least make it uh, a little on topic. This video probably won't be a premiere, so you guys probably you guys won't be able to uh, respond to what I'm saying, but, you know. Oh, and since I haven't shown it today, today is uh, about 62, 63 degrees today. So it's a little cooler than last weekend, but it's still warm enough to do things. And it's not supposed to be below freezing again for a while, theoretically. For this curious, I have yet to find or order a cap for this. And I'm, I'm not lazy, I just don't have, I just haven't been able to find one. Also, my camera's uh, brightness seems to be a little out of whack today, so I apologize for how bright some things are. I'm recording this video in a different style than the other ones. Most of my videos have been recorded in 1080p 30 frames per second, whereas I'm trying this one. 1080p at 60 frames per second, so hopefully it'll be, it'll come out a little bit better. We are in kind of a home stretch here. We have about another inch or so to go. I'm gonna show it about my hand. See the water filling over there. I'm going to position the camera here so when it starts we can see everything go at once. this machine at the same time as it, but unfortunately I'm unable to, and for those curious as to why I can't run these two machines at the same time, 
but I can run like these two, or these two, or these two, or these two at the same time, is because of the amperage they draw. All of these may tags are 120 volt at 60 hertz, uh, seven amp machines. So these may tags, all of them, draw seven amps of current. Seven amps, 60 hertz. This one's another one that's seven amps at 60 hertz. 60 hertz is the alternating current speed. So seven, seven amps. So I can run these two machines because they only draw seven amps each at max load. That's 14 amps combined on a 20 amp circuit breaker. That is fine. However, each of these machines, you can see uh, right there, these are 10 amp machines. All of them. My camera wants to focus. It probably won't. It's somewhere up there. Eh. Yeah, right there, 10 amps. So together, I can run these machines, a Maytag and a Kenmore, that's only pulling 17 amps. However, I can't run these two because it's going to pull 20 amps on a 20 amp circuit breaker. It's a trip to breaker and therefore no washing. So, yeah, that is, that is why I can't run these machines together. I probably won't even try running one of these with the Westinghouse because the Westinghouse pulls 9 amps. A 19 on a 20 amp circuit breaker is gonna be, it's gonna be close. I think I'll grab a towel from over here real quick. I'll need to clean it off at least. The more water it splashes out, the more I have to wipe off, the cleaner I can make it with just its own self cleaning ability. Who said vintage machines can't sell clean? It's literally splashing water into the into the cattle. That's kind of fun. I haven't unwinterized it yet. Let me show any freezing water. Not really 
it anymore because it's pumping it all out, but there you go. You can see a little bit of pinkish tint to the water, but not bad. Look it off a little bit better. Try to keep these machines as clean as I can, keep them from rusting and rotting and stuff. This one's starting to develop a little bit of a rust along this upper nip in here. Not bad yet, but it's getting close to being uh, time for a new top. Well, not close, but if I don't take care of it, it will be. <coughs> Bless me. Oh, that was probably not the right terminology for that, but... Excuse me, that's the correct word. <laughs> the dampness off. This one's doing good. I, uh, there's a video coming out with it in about a week, maybe. We'll see. Don't know how long yet, but it's, it's doing good. I've yet to run a load through it, but it's doing good. Like I said, this one will be next. This one will be next today to for me to film and unwinterize. get to it so hopefully soon but I don't know definitely very the green is very it's drawing me in it does the timer is free everything is free on it I plugged it in and it takes power but that's about all I've done with it infinitely variable water uh, temps there we go. This one's going to spin now. So we'll get some uh, spray rinses here in a second. Apologize for the wind noise.
that one is filling. We'll go back over here to the Westing house. I know some people are curious. This is saying it's got five temperatures. Your regular wash temperatures are hot, warm, and warm, warm. And you got hot, cold, warm, cold, and cold, cold are your permanent press fabrics. Uh, it's two-speed automatic West old logo. Or the good, not the old logo, but the good logo. Infinite water level selector. They called the water saver. Uh, see, you got two cycles. Your normal and gentle, and a pre-wash. Black agitator. Uh, standard stuff. Nice metal uh, bas ga basket, like clothes guard here. Ribbed, or not ribbed, but it's got like ribbed, kind of ridges, ribs, whatever you want to call it, in the wash basket. Perforated, it's not a solid tub. Uh, ramp action agitator with an indexing tub, so it indexes this way as it spins. Your lint fit filter here, removable. To catch uh, all that pesky lint. Lid lock. Uh, that's about it for this one. Not physics. It's not. I don't. I'm not sure uh, what's gonna happen with it yet. We're hoping. I'm hoping it's gonna be easy to get back. But I'm also hoping it's hoping it's a little easy and it doesn't need any immediate attention. Uh, if it does, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Apologies. Heavy duty, 16 pound capacity. Avocado green, as always. We'll leave that one alone. We'll only focus on this one. Oh, close that. So we're not tempted by it. Talk a little about updates in the garage. They've started kind of moving some things out. It's not quite uh, there yet. It's a little messy at the moment, just because I'm still in the process of getting everything going. Got the agitator, got the lid for the Maytag over there. I need to bring uh, detergents and stuff out, hopefully this weekend, if not soon. Uh, there's the agitator for the catalyst. There's a load sensor agitator. A dependable care agitator up there with a power fin. Uh, various Kenmore agitators. Our KitchenAid one two. The uh, edge of color. The, uh, there's nothing over there at the moment. That's all these chemicals and junk. Not junk, but a lot of that tools and chemicals and stuff. Uh, some softener dispensers there. I also got, uh, I got this stuff here recently. Like a sample. This is what would have come originally in the catalyst. So I was going to use some of that with it just for fun. I might throw some Valvo in that thing as the first wash cycle because it's only fitting. So I use retro 50s, 60s detergent in a 60s machine. I just feel like it fits, you know? Well, let's go medium. Let's just keep things around. I know what we're going to have. It's fun watching the water go by. If I'm winterizing those, I'm most nervous about this pen one here. This is the one that always seems to give me grief. Last year it, you know, blew the water valve apart. This year I waited a little longer to hopefully prevent that from happening. I'm hoping it doesn't just leave water everywhere, but if it does, then... Uh, I'll probably try and just glue the water valve back together and hope it lasts. These ones are pretty easy here. This one I'm a little more nervous about because it's older. I'm well, not older, but it's a little more complex and it's, it's given me problems in the past with just general things. But as, as long as water, mechanically is the one I'm concerned about. Water wise, that's the one I'm concerned about. That's a garage floor, it can handle it. So we'll see. This is almost full again. Let's get some. Uh, we can get some of that action back here. 
to hear it a little better. You might be able to, we'll see. Back in there. A little bit. Here's some of that uh, solenoid action going on. Some. I know some of these machines did, not these machines, but I know some with the, like, Whirlpool built machines with this lift filter did a, uh, what's it called, like a, I guess they keep the filter running during neutral drain. This one does not, but I've heard, I've seen some that do and it's kind of cool. Wish this one did, but sadly it does not.
going for a money shot now. lighting today so I apologize for that. It's like a weird overcast gray outside and it's, there's no light directly over this machine. And there's the really bright LED garage lights that you know, are bright as heck. Two more minutes. We're on the last timer increment before off. Here, I'm quiet and the lid close. You can only really hear the hum. Our Kenmore. I hear them in the light. I stand here, the white, the uh, white balance goes crazy. Or the brightness. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video of unwinterizing the Kenmore and the very splashy nature of that agitator. Uh, like I said, if you haven't seen the video on these, I do recommend going and seeing it. This one will hopefully be next, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!